Hey guys, welcome back. And in today's video, we'll be diving deeper into the Onion Router, also known as Tor, which is a free and open source software that enables anonymous communication on the internet. Since it has the reputation of being the go-to browser for the dark web, you shouldn't underestimate its capabilities as a powerful privacy tool. And despite some negative associations, Tor provides unparalleled anonymity, which can assist anyone in protecting their privacy. So let's get started on learning about the mysterious and enigmatic world of anonymous browsing via Tor. Also, if at any point you'd like to give any of the VPNs that I'm about to mention today a try, you'll find discount links available in the description down below to help you save some extra money. At its core, Tor is designed to safeguard the personal privacy and confidentiality of its users. But who is Tor intended for? How does it ensure anonymity online? It may be used by a journalist communicating with a confidential source, an activist living in a country with strict internet censorship, a law enforcement officer conducting undercover operations, or anyone else that values privacy and security on the internet. As privacy concerns continue to grow, you should learn more about regaining your anonymity and staying hidden from surveillance on any networks. To benefit from using Tor, it's essential to understand how Tor works. The internet can identify you through various methods, but the most common and straightforward one is through your IP address, which acts like a virtual name tag and reveals information about your name, location, and online activity. Tor makes your IP address untraceable, thus hiding your online activities identifying information information. But how does it do that? Well, usually when you access a website, you establish a direct connection between your computer and the website, making your communication visible to online trackers and easily accessible to just about anyone. Tor, on the other hand, uses layers of encryption referred to as the onion reference to encrypt the application layer of your activity and redirect your traffic through a global network composed of thousands of relays or nodes. So as your information passes through each node, it decrypts a layer revealing the next node the data should pass through. Tor keeps the location of the final relay a secret during the process of routing your traffic through different nodes. This is done by encrypting the layers of data and directing it through a network of nodes worldwide. Each node receives information on where to send the encrypted data, while the original and intermediary node locations remain undisclosed. The traffic eventually reaches an exit node, which removes the final layer of encryption and sends the original data to its destination without knowing or revealing the original IP address. This method of concealing data from the start makes it impossible for network surveillance to trace the source or destination of the information at any point within the node relay. This is a pretty cool feature, right? But keep in mind that if you're a casual web user accessing regular sites like Google or Facebook, your data is already prone to vulnerabilities and easy to access, so you might not necessarily benefit from Tor. But for those living in sensitive fields or living in heavily monitored areas, or for those concerned about maintaining network anonymity, Tor offers a secure way to connect anonymously. Now, it's worth mentioning that even though Tor can maintain your anonymity, the ISP can still monitor your traffic and can see the that you're connecting using your real IP address. That might cause some issues depending on where you live, but this issue can easily be resolved by using a VPN alongside Tor. But if you're wondering which VPN to go for, don't worry, I got you covered on that one, and I have some suggestions ready for you. And so I've been regularly testing the best and most popular VPNs, and I've narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the best three mm. VPNs overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have a kill switch, they're excellent for torrenting, and they all consistently work with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video. And that's why these are my favorite three. But depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you, and I'll explain why. Starting with ExpressVPN, and this is gonna be the one to get if you're looking for the best overall, fastest, and easiest to use VPN. And it has the most verified no logs policy, which was demonstrated through a real life stress test proving that they don't collect or track any user data. It has over 3000 servers in 94 countries, which is a big number of countries, allowing you to easily access content from all over the globe. Plus, you can secure up to five simultaneous connections per account, and it's compatible with most devices. And so ultimately, whenever people ask us what the best, most reliable VPN is, and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest levels of reliability, Express is our trusty go-to choice for those looking for a premium VPN. Next up is NordVPN. 
and Nord is what I consider the best value VPN. It has over 5,400 servers in 60 countries, and while more servers does not necessarily mean better service, this can help with speed and latency, especially if you use a VPN for gaming, or if you want extra features such as threat protection, which blocks ads, malware-ridden websites, as well as protect your device from harmful files, which is a neat little feature. And so Nord kind of gives you more options to fiddle with, and that's where the value for the money comes from, especially that it's about as fast as ExpressVPN in terms of performance, and will let you secure up to six devices per subscription, as opposed to ExpressVPN's five device limit. So all in all, if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your VPN, then Nord would be the one to get. And finally, Surfshark is our pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just one account. So it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. Also, you still get some bonus features such as an ad blocker for blocking pop-ups, two types of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're trying to use your VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money, but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, or if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, or if you have a larger family, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. And so to sum it up, these VPNs are definitely the best in the business. ExpressVPN is a premium VPN with a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity, and it's perfect for those that are privacy conscious and are looking for the best VPN overall. Now, NordVPN is a well-rounded, high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is the ideal choice for those looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions. Features such as strong encryption, secure torrenting, and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs. And as an added bonus, you get to share it around with as many of your friends and family as you like, which is a great plus. So that's gonna be it for this video. Again, if you're interested in these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts as well as in-depth reviews in the description down below. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions. I really, really, really like getting to interact with you guys. Like and subscribe if you found this video to be helpful or you'd like to stay up to date with our future videos. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Safe surfing and I'll see you in the next one.